day seven of Ignite and today we're working our shoulders and our rear delts. We've got a brand new set of eight exercises. We're gonna work for 40 seconds and have a 20 second break on each of them. And we're gonna complete four rounds. For your reference today, guys, I'm gonna be using two sets of dumbbells. One is going to be four kg and the other one is gonna be a five kg set. I'm gonna use the four kg for predominantly most of my shoulder work and the five kg for my rear delt work. As usual, we're gonna start off with a warm up and finish off with a really nice cool down. So when you're ready, let's ignite. Okay, place your hands on top of your shoulders and rotate around using the elbows, making a big circle in the air. Backwards eight times and then forwards eight times. So nice big circles with the elbows, draw a circle in the air and then forward eight. shoulders warmed up. Great job, let the arms relax, tip forward from the hips and then squeeze into the back, just let the arms come back and then down. Squeeze, release. Do this eight times as well. Okay, come back up, release the shoulders. Right side only, back stroke for eight. And then change over to the left. And relax, let's roll the shoulders back and down. So big circles. And then just tip the head forward as you go down. You'll ease off any tension on the back of your neck. And then release the arms side to side. Just let them hang. Shake them out. Get ready for our shoulder and rear delt session. Okay, so we're going to start off with a strict press. So that's going to be an overhead press. And as I said in the introduction, what I'm gonna do is use four kg weights for that. So if you wanna start off with a lighter weight, that'll be the best way to go forward. In the rounds two, three, and four, we can go slightly heavier if you fancy it. So I'm gonna grab those four kgs. Here they are. Place yourself firmly on the ground, knees are soft. Tuck your core in and tilt your pelvis forward. Get ready to strict press overhead. Let's go. Well done. Keep pushing. Excellent work. We've got 10 seconds to go. Keep strict pressing overhead. You will feel the burn kicking in. Last two. And one. And then relax. Beautiful. Well done. Okay, so that is your strict press done. We're gonna go into an underhand row next. So you're gonna tip forward from the hips. Keep the palms facing upwards for your underhand row. We're gonna squeeze into the back, into the rear delts, in the position of this here. I'm gonna to turn to the side. So let's go back and then forward. Try not to swing any part of the body, just focus in on working those rear delts at the back. Stay nice and stable on your feet. You've got this. Really great area of the body to work for posture reasons, as well as the strength and the definition. Last few. One more. And relax, good work. Okay, next up, we're going to do what's called around the world and we're gonna press behind, okay? So, you come up and around, and then press behind the body, okay? When you're ready, out to the side, let's do it. Up, around, and then behind. 
quite challenging, so I'm sticking with the fours for now. In actual fact, I'm going to stick with the fours for the first round. So you guys can also get used to these exercises. And then we'll go slightly heavier in the second round. See if that's something that you fancy doing. If not, stick with what you've got. Up, and then behind. Great work. Let's go for one more. And release, I can feel the shoulder burn already. All right, so next up we've got bent over sweep. So we're gonna hinge forward again from the hips. Take a nice position here. A little bit further down into more of a tabletop position and then from here we're going to sweep behind sweep behind feel the engagement in the back good job Nice work. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Great work. <laughs> you lost track of time there, it's going too well. Okay, so from here, we're gonna work back into our shoulders and we're gonna go into a baby Arnold, I'm calling it, a half Arnold. So not quite coming out all the way to the side, we're just going from here and then pushing up to the ceiling. Let's do it. Once again, keep the pace at a nice speed so that you can ensure you can sustain the whole 40 seconds. It's quite challenging, isn't it? Even with lighter weights, what seems like a lighter weight anyway start off with. Great work, just 10 more seconds. Two, one. Oh, well done. Ooh. Wow, we gotta get through four rounds today. Well, it's gotta be a challenge, isn't it? Though it's not worth doing. Okay, next up, we're gonna go back into the rear delt. So we're gonna do rear delt fly. So really hinge forward from the hips, almost towards the ground. We're gonna go out, squeeze, release it down. Here we go. It's nice and low on this one. So 15 seconds to go, guys. Yes. And <laughs> come up and relax. Ooh. Yeah, feeling it, feeling good. So number seven is our hammer swing. So when I say hammer position, it's a neutral position right here. We simply going to use the arms and just swing up to shoulder height and back down again. Yeah, hammer style. Let's go. Sometimes we do this in um, some of my other videos, my cardio videos, or dumbbell hit, should I say. Uh, swings are quite a good one to do amongst many other exercises, so I hope you get to do the dumbbell hit sessions on this channel as well. Have a look at them anyway, see if they take your fancy. And let me know in the comments if you get to do any of them. I'll be so grateful. Keep swinging. And then we're nearly at the end of round one. We've got one more exercises to do. And relax. Ooh. Great work. Gives a bit of a heart rate elevation as well, so nice. Right, so we're finishing off with a partial raise. We are only going to go up partially, not to the full lateral, because we're quite tired. So partial it is. Let's go. Halfway and then down. 
partial raises to finish off round one. Then we're gonna go back into our strict press for round two. Why not? Question is though, are you gonna increase your weights? <laughs> Ask yourself now. Yes, 10 more seconds. Last one. Oh, great work. It's so difficult, isn't it? I mean, not so difficult, but it's meant to be. Um, challenging should be the word. <laughs> I'm working shoulders. Love the way that they look. I absolutely love it. But getting to work them, it takes that extra bit of push, doesn't it? Anyway, keep focused. Stay with me. I'll try and motivate you through every single rep. Okay, back up again, round two for our strict press. Let's go. Good. Well done. <laughs> Try not to talk too much because I'm trying to focus in on those shoulders. 10 seconds to go. Last one. Oh, great work. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to the fives, the underhand row. As we're working a different muscle group at the back, the rear delts are going to try and go a little bit heavier as I promised at the start. So if you want to do the same, come with me. Let's tip forward, nice low position and squeeze back. Want a really nice back rear delts. Work hard. Ten more seconds. And we'll get all the rewards. And then relax. Beautiful work. Well done. Okay. Going back to the fours now because we're going to do that round the world with the behind. Press. That was actually quite challenging, wasn't it? So we're lifting up overhead, but we're pressing behind. All right, underhand grip to start. Let's go to the top first. Down, control it, squeeze behind. Up, control it, squeeze behind. Yes. Up. Control, squeeze behind. 20 seconds to go. Up. <laughs> nice. Good effort. <sighs> Last one. Squeeze one more in. <sighs> and then release. Lovely work. Okay, so change it back over to my fives. My bent over sweeps. Coming up in 10 seconds. Just release everything, get a bit more energy back into the body. Tip forward from the hips, ready in position. I'm gonna sweep behind here. Think about every single rep. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? So get the gains, to feel good, to look good, to get stronger every single day. Working every muscle group and igniting every muscle group. Three, two, one. Right, relax, good. Woo! Okay, overhead, so baby Arnold's. When you're ready, <laughs> We're gonna do baby Arnold presses, okay? Three, two, 
one, half, push, release down. Good work. 25 seconds to go. My timer battery is about to die, so hopefully it doesn't die on me, otherwise uh, <laughs> I don't know what time it is. <laughs> 15 seconds. Great job. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, relax, nice one. Ooh, switching over to those rear delt flies. Again, once again, tip forward a little bit deeper from the hips. We go all the way down, almost to the ground. And let's squeeze up and out. get stronger, fitter and leaner for the summer. That's for sure, all year round really. 18 seconds left. Last one after this. Relax, it was definitely a challenge doing it with the fives, that's for sure, one kg makes a huge difference. Keeping going though. Okay, next up our hammer swings. And nearly at the end of round two. Round two. Are you ready to swing again? Let's go. Few more to go. Ten seconds. Oh, it's going to be a bit tough. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, great work. I'm not going to lie. I was starting to feel a little bit puffed out there. Actually, I'm going to keep these for our partial raises. It's puffing me out. <laughs> it does work in cardio. That's another good reason to do it in the um, dumbbell hit sessions. Let's go partial raise for round two. Good work. Keep it going, we've got 10 more seconds. Oh, let's get that summer body so we can go out and sunbathe soon. <laughs> Last one. Ah. <laughs> Think of the games when you get to sunbathe and you've got a nice lean body to show off. Shoulders and rear doubts and all the other bits that we train. Whew. It's worth it. Okay, so round three. Are you ready for the strict press? Back in again. Soft knees, and let's go. Well done. Fifteen seconds. Try not to bend those knees. Good. Last one. Push and relax. Oh, yes, we're rocking it. Round three. 
Let's pick up these bad boy fives. <laughs> I know you're probably laughing at me right now if you're doing heavier and you feel that the fives are too, you know, light, but that's okay. I don't mind, I don't mind. Each their own. <laughs> Let's go on the hand row. I admit I need to get stronger on my upper side. I'm very strong on my lower side. So yeah, my upper's the bit that needs work. We all need a bit of work, don't we? We've all got something. <laughs> we don't have to be perfect though, that's the thing. Just keep improving and working on yourself with exercise, personal development. Together we can do this, guys. Last one. <sighs> and I have a flexed shoulder as well. Can you believe that? The perks that comes with getting older. <laughs> All right, round the world and press behind. Let's go round the world together. Starting at the sides, gonna lift up and we're gonna press behind. Let's go. <sighs> Control it down, that's the key thing. And go behind, up. Let's go for two more. And then one more. All the way. Release, good work. What's coming up next? The bent over sweep. So yes, I'm gonna go heavier. And stick to my promise. My promise to you, my promise to myself. <laughs> oh, where do we make these promises? No, I'm joking. I stick to my word. Okay, sweep, let's go. Well done, squeeze behind. Ooh. Keep it going, you guys, say it to yourself. Just one more. Nice work. Let's go for the last one and then slowly rise and release, good. Okay, baby Arnold. It's back again. <laughs> Cute baby Arnold. Oh. Coming up next. And the rear delt flies back to those fives again. Okay. Let's go. Push to the ceiling. Half. Push. Look at the time, it's halfway through now. 20 seconds to go. Yes. Four, three, two, one. Oh, bye bye baby Arnold. <laughs> Until later. One more rep, one more round, do I say. Okay, those rear delt flies coming up. Let's get tips from the hips. And then go down nice and low and squeeze into the rear delts and the back. Well done. Good work, 15 seconds to go. It's getting challenging now, it should be. You can have a tiny second rest if you need to, and then go back in. Whew. Rise up and relax. And it is okay to have a little rest, so don't worry. If you need it, pause for a couple of seconds, 
and then go back in, okay? So rear delt flow is done, back to our hammer swing. When you're ready, hammer swings. Five seconds, and we're gonna get it going again. Swinging our way through the session. Good work. Try not to bend the knees, just use the elbow arms. Nice and long, up to shoulder height. Well done. 15 seconds to go. Yes. And it is gonna get you a little bit out of breath, isn't it, this one? A little bit. Four, three, two, one. Relax, beautiful. Oh, no problem, I'm not putting them down. It's the partial raise coming up. So, round three. Let's say to ourselves, have we worked really hard so far? I think so. <laughs> I think I definitely have. I could put a bit more effort in. Mm, yeah, probably. Okay, let's go. We can always put a little bit more in, can't we? <sighs> yes. 25 seconds to go. You got this. Ah! I'm laughing because I'm lifting it up and it's really struggling now. But that's okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh! <laughs> Round three is done. Beautiful work. Well done. Right, guys. Have a little rest. We've got one round to go. <laughs> I know people don't often like these kind of days where it's just specifically shoulders and back because it's tough, you know, let's admit it, it's tough. Do you want to do a workout that's going to puff you out or gain you muscle tone? You decide. <laughs> I want both actually. I think for me, it's, a, it's great all rounds, you know, if we can, be cardiovascularly fit, but also look great on the outside, feel good, have muscle tone. We are winning. But as I said earlier, we don't have to be perfect. We just need to try our best. Keep motivated, keep doing free sessions online here on YouTube, free six five home workouts. <laughs> here you are. And so pleased you found me. What would I do without you? <laughs> Maybe that's what you're saying to me, but hopefully you are. <laughs> Equally, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys being part of my community as well. So thank you. Smash the like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. And then tip forward from the hips, under hand grip. And let's go into that row for our last round. Now, keep the form, that's the key thing when you get tired, to try and keep the form going. Oh, slowly rise and relax. Yeah, so it's easy to sort of lose form a little bit when you're tired, that's for sure. No doubt about that. We'll just take a break, a moment to get back into it. All right, around the world and press behind. Last time, are you ready? Let's do it together. Up. Oh. And behind. Use your breathing patterns as well, and then that way you can also keep the blood flowing freely around the body, helping you go through each and every rep. Great job. Oh. Oh, 
this last one. Oh, they relax. Okay, good work. Now the bent over sweeps are coming up. Once again, I'm gonna use those fives. Woo Tipping forward from the hips and then sweeping behind using those rear delts. Okay, let's do it. Sweep behind. Well done. Keep sweeping behind. 15 seconds left. Good work. And slowly rise. Let's put it down and get ready for our baby Arnold's. Starting to get really puffed out now, which is good. Are you ready for your baby Arnold's? <laughs> I know, I'm sweating yet again. <laughs> so common with me, I swear. Even just looking at weights, I think. I had a class today, I did a teacher class, a group of people on a Wednesday, and <laughs> I was looking to see how much they sweat because I sweat so much, and the ones that weren't sweating, I was like, why are you not sweating? <laughs> But some people just don't sweat as much as others, and that's it. And they don't work as hard. So. <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut now. Push. <sighs> Baby Arnold's nearly done. One more. Ah, good work. Back to our fives, our rid out flies with the fives. <laughs> I like rhymes, I love that. Okay. So after our rid out flies, we've got the hammer swings, and then we've got the partial raise, and we're done. So. Keep with me. Stay here, right here. Don't go anywhere. Okay, let's go. Great job. I'm focusing in, so not saying anything. But I've got 20 seconds to go. Pick it up. <sighs> Little tiny rest. We're nearly there. One more. Oh, and then rise and release. I needed that little extra second because it was really starting to challenge me. And if you felt the same, it's okay. Take that second. <sighs> just, just recompose. If you do, just do one more rep, it's okay. Better than two bad ones, you know. Okay, swing, hammer style for the last time. Good work, seven seconds to go. And then one more exercise. Two, one. Ah, we're at our final exercise. Eight, six, we've we done. This is our 30 second set, 30 second exercise, 30, number 32. So well done, you stayed this long, amazing work. Partial raises to finish. And let's push it to the end. seconds to go. Don't give up now. Let's keep strong all the way to the end. Let's go for one more. Maybe another one. 
<laughs> I said to myself, just one more, and I did it. And well done to you for doing it too. I'm so pleased that you've made it this far in the session. Thank you so much. And now we're going to do a cool down and we're going to stretch out all those muscles that we've shortened, especially our shoulders and our rear delts. Okay, let's start with the shoulder stretch. Lengthen it back out. Take this time to get your breath back as well. So make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, always. Change sides. Oh, just a little bit of sweat there. <laughs> and relax, beautiful. Okay, hold your hands behind your back and then push back to extend the stretch, hinge forward. And then open it all up. Remember back, feel it in the back, shoulders. Very, very slowly. Well done. Just open up the front of the shoulder and the chest area just by leaning back here. Just a short stretch today. Reach up to the ceiling. Scoop up all the positivity you can get. Let the negativity go. <laughs> Breathe in and out. And one more time. Have a really, really awesome day. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in the next one. Well done, see you soon.